Today is World Poetry Day and I thought as a tribute to World Poetry Day we are going to talk about or I am going to talk about the greatest Sindhi poet that ever was and that is Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai If you are watching this video and if you live in Sindh please send me the rest of the volumes I love this volume but I have no details about it Hi Manu. I just have got into the habit of saying hi Manu. Manu means people or guys, whatever. Um, how are you all? I feel like an alien talking right now because I am so used to making videos in Sindhi, and I'm not complaining. I love my mother tongue, but I just feel so distanced from English on camera. Um, hope you all have been well. I am a huge fan of poetry. I have spent good years of my life in college appreciating poetry, studying poetry, learning to write poetry and I am just a huge fan of poetry. Today is World Poetry Day and I thought as a tribute to World Poetry Day um we are going to talk about or I am going to talk about the greatest Sindhi poet that ever was and that is Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai. Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai is considered as the godfather of Sindhi poetry. His work is known as the Risalo and I just feel so um overwhelmed right now because attempting to talk about him is a huge deal. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about four books that will be like an introductory pathway for you if you are interested in reading Shah Abdul Latif's work, if you are interested in understanding Shah Abdul Latif's work or just enjoying Shah Abdul Latif's work because his work is truly i can't even compare he's usually referred to as the shakespeare of sindhi literature but i feel they are poles apart but if you do want a comparison then yes maybe you can call him the shakespeare of sindhi literature he was like there up there So I thought on this World Poetry Day we will celebrate the greatest poet of Sindh that there ever was by talking about the books that are available on his work in India uh available to buy of course and I just want to preface this video by saying please just do not think that this is the authority video on Shah Abdul Latif Bhattai there's a lot of stuff that can be found up on try saying that it's quite a mouthful that can be found online um but this can be considered like a beginners video for shah abdul latif bhattai's works that are available to purchase in india the last book that i'm going to talk about is not available to purchase in india i'm sorry about that um i'll talk about it towards the end of the video that book but we'll get to it so happy world poetry day to the people who love poetry who love the arts and i am going to begin by the first book that was published in india as the english translation of shah abdul latif bhattai's work it is titled seeking the beloved what a title um seeking the beloved and this work is translated by anju makhija and hari dilgeer now anju makhija i have had the honor of meeting her but we just bumped at an event i haven't had the chance to sit down and have a chat with her proper chat i'm hoping to do that soon um but anju makhija and hari dilgeer are two fabulous people um in sindhi literature society who have done a lot of work on sindhi literature i have had the honor and pleasure of meeting hari dilgeer's daughter seema gurnani who is now working at working at doesn't sound like a good word who has dedicated her life to sindhi studies and is at indian institute of sindhology she works there but i would like to call it she's given her life to the institute and she does some fabulous work so hari dilgeer was a very 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 famous sindhi poet he had produced very good work but i don't think our people are appreciated as much as they should have been probably because they don't get enough exposure but that is a separate topic let us talk about this book Shah Abdul Latif Seeking the Beloved this book is published by um Katha which is a registered non-profit organization or society and 
I think they are doing some fabulous work. I had a look at their website and I have been loving this book. I ordered this a couple years ago and I just have gone through it over and over again. Also, this is the first ever English translation of the Risalo in India. So I think that this is a very seminal work. It was published in 2005 by Katha. And when I say 2005, it makes a lot of difference because the other two books that I'm going to talk about, they are published in 2018 and 19 respectively, which is quite recent. And in terms of Sindhi studies, talks about Shah Abdul Latif's works, translating his work um, have been quite a recent phenomenon. And in that sense, I feel Anju Makhijan Hari Dilgi's book was one of the seminal books that came out like long, long, long back when people weren't even talking about it, you know. So I think this is a very, very important piece of literature um, in terms of Shah Abdul Latif's work in particular, but also the Sufi works um, in general. I absolutely loved the cover and this is hard pound and it is about 280 300 pages the book it costed me rupees 350 and i really like the fact that it's very easy it's very accessible easy to read i also think this would be a fabulous gift if you know someone who loves books or who loves shah abdul latif or who loves sindhi literature or for anybody who loves shah abdul latif sindhi literature but cannot read or write in sindhi because this is a translation i think it will be a fabulous present even for yourself, just like I gifted it to myself. Moving on to the second book. Um, this book is very close to my heart. Um, it was a present. And this is the first book that I discussed in the Let's Talk Sindhi Books series. And it will always be a very special book because I found this book very academic. And I like academic works. I like academic works. Um, this is Shah Abdul Latif Risalo. Edited and translated by Christopher Shackle. Again, this is hardbound. And I would like to request you to please watch the entire dedicated video that I have made on this book after you finish watching this video. This is published by Murthy Classical Library of India, Harvard University Press. And this came out in 2018. I am afraid I do not know how much it costs because this was a present to me. Now this book is 600 pages and if you were to ask me what's the difference between this book and this book, well, this is 300 pages, this is 600 pages. What is different is the beauty about this book is there are the left side pages um, have the Sindhi script and the right side have the translation. And I think that's really beautiful because if you can read Sindhi or if you've learned to read and write but want to practice it, this will be fabulous because you can read in Sindhi here and you can read in English here. And I think that really sets the book apart in that sense. Also, I really like the introduction of this book. It's a little more in-depth and like I said, academic. Um, academic in nature. This would also make a fabulous present and... 2005 2018 moving on from first and the second moving on from Anju Makhija Hari Dilgir and Christopher Shackle to Shabnam Virmani and Vipul Rikhi the third book that I want to talk to you about is a very recent find I found it a few months ago and I have been enjoying the book thoroughly um, I have been loving all these books equally um, this is titled I saw myself Journeys with Shah Abdul Latif Bhittai. Hardback, this was published by Penguin, Penguin Random House in 2019. Okay, now I got it for rupees 5.99 and I think it's a very reasonable price. The ebook version of this book is also available in case you were interested in that. Now, what's interesting about this book is Shabnam and Vipul, both of them are not native Sindhi speakers and they really were in a search for Latif in 2009 and because of the repeated denial of visas they thought of visiting our side of the border the indian side of the border so to speak so this book is more about what they experienced during their visit to um, kutch and honestly speaking it's not just a translation of latif's risalo in fact it is their story of what they felt and what they heard and what is their uh, and what is their interpretation of their experience 
at least that's what i have found through the book and i like that it's very um first person narrative so they are telling i don't know how to explain but it feels like a very like i'm sitting and listening to their stories like i'm sitting and chatting with them it's that um easy to read and very accessible this book is spread over 400 pages and what i like about this book is and how it is different from the other two is the book is divided into two parts they are travel to kutch and their experiences they have woven that um with the different surs the different poems the different melodies so to speak and through that you're just taken into a different world about half the book is that and then the second part of the book is selected poems from the risalo okay so those are the translated uh poems at the end of the book the second part of the book but the first part of the book is not just for example in the mumal case the legend of mumal let's go to kak um kak i think it's called kak um there are a few stanzas there are a few stanzas and then there's explanation and i quite like that because you're not just left alone on your own to understand the poems they are actually explaining the poems the stories the progression of the work step by step you know it's like a guided tour of the risalo a little bit not the complete one but i really 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 like this version and i enjoy it especially when i'm traveling i feel like oh my god this is so beautiful i love reading their stories so we are done with these three books that are easily available to purchase in india and i'm hoping to have these people on camera one day hari dilgeer is no more unfortunately but anju makheja shabnam vipul i'm hoping to meet and talk to them about their work on shah abdul latif phitai soon there's so much on shah abdul latif phitai and i can be here all day talking about him but it's like okay soon um i have also talked to rahila parveen joyo who plays the tambura now it's called tamburo and our entire live insta live is now um on instagram as igtv video so have a look at that she actually plays the tamburo and i have so much respect for her i love what she does um okay finally last but not the least i have this book shah jo rasalo ganje latif alias ganje latif by mohammad yakub agha this is a paperback version now the problem with this is i love the book um i received this as a present when i was moving back from london um this is volume 2 all right this is volume 2 and it has no details about um what year it was published in and what do the other volumes consist so i feel a little incomplete right now because i don't have details to give you this was published by the shah abdul latif bhitsha cultural center committee hyderabad in sindh and i truly truly love the book because again it has sindhi and english together so for people who can read sindhi they can read it who can't they can read english but then there's also the explanation unfortunately my volume has uh, i mean the volumes the volume that i have has only this much has just 3 6 9 surs and uh, this is about 500 pages i'm guessing there must be a few more volumes if not a couple more and i know mohammad yaqub agha is a very big name and this is a very important contribution again to the literature of shah abdul latif bhitai just like all the other books are and this also must have been i'm guessing about 10 20 years ago it must have been published also the fact that this was published in sindh just makes it a little more special so that is it these were the four books on shah abdul latif bhitai that i have but i want 400 more um i love books and i thought on this world poetry day i'll talk to you guys about shah abdul latif bhitai and i get many messages and emails quite often requesting me to explain who shah abdul latif bhitai was how do they start reading his work how do they have access to their work and i was like okay this is interesting this is an interesting idea let's make this video 
I hope you liked this video. Let me know your experiences of Shah Abdul Latif Bittai's work if you have read any and what is your favorite work. If you haven't, I hope this video was useful. I also happen to have um, a couple of PDFs that are on I think Sahitya Academy or NCPSL website. There are a few PDF books of Shah Abdul Latif Bittai that are available online. I will put those in the I will put the links to those books in the description box below. I will put the entire details of these books also in the description box below. So please do have a look at that. Um, this was an English language video after ages. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a like, share the video, and do not forget to subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Very important so that you come to know when we upload a new video. Any other suggestions, feedback, comments in the comments below. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.